Welcome to my guide to the contents of the bag of Jubilee Yesteryear from 2024 Anniversary Jubilee event. This bag is a container you buy for two event tickets from the Impresario event merchant and it drops one random reward item from previous anniversary events. The drop is bound so you can't resell it and it's curated so you always get something missing from your collection. Because of that, it's advised to use and collect the style before buying another bag, or you may end up wasting two tickets. And for the same reason, the Warm Cult style deserves special attention, as it is a regular crafting motif style, it's not account-wide, but per character, so when buying bags, make sure you are doing it with your master crafter. The current Gold to Crown exchange ratio is about 3.3 thousand and one event ticket is 250 crowns, which gives us an estimated price of the bag at 1.65 million gold. This is the maximum price for any item in the bag that you should be willing to pay. Fortunately, all of them, with one exception, are rather cheap, sometimes even dirt cheap. The exception is Sai Sahan's chest piece. I guess a naked manly chest is worth extra to the ESO player base. Bikini armor revenge? What do you think? Anyway, I suggest the following acquisition strategy. Buy all styles missing from your collection from guild traders to shrink the list of missing contents from the bag to just the Sai Sahan's jack and only then if you won't be able to find one below 1.6 million, spend two tickets on the bag. Given how the game spammed players with some of those styles in the past, I suspect that a lot of them are probably still lying in many guild banks. To complete the Aurora Firepot Spider non-combat pet, you will also have to buy instructions for five tickets from Impresario's assistant. Of course, you don't have to own everything that is in the back of Jubilee yesteryear. The best way to save the gold is not to spend it. See and decide for yourself. Imperial Champion style has a matching armor pack, but it's crown store exclusive. The same goes for Cyberkill weapons pack. I showcased the styles using ESL Fashion website while the prices were taken from Tamriel Trade Center. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!